Thank you for joining this lesson. We are going to study errors and approximations, whereby we're given the radius of a spherical ball is measured at 7 centimeters, correct to the nearest centimeter. Determine to two decimal places the percentage error in calculating the surface area of the ball. So first of all, what you should know here is the limits to which this radius is lying. If it has been recorded to the nearest one centimeter, then it means its absolute error in the recording of this radius is 0 0.5. Therefore, the radius will lie between 7 plus or minus the absolute error in the recording of this radius, which is 0 0.5. Therefore, the radius of this spherical ball is going to be 6.5 to 7.5 <clears throat> because it has been recorded to the nearest centimeter. That's why you even can see the difference between the highest radius and the smallest radius is one complete centimeter. Therefore, here we're going now to apply the formula for getting or of calculating surface area of a sphere, which is form pi r squared. Therefore, we first of all get maximum area area maximum by using four times pi then times the maximum r squared so this is going to give us four twenty two times seven point five squared then divided by seven is going to be 707.14 707.14 of course square centimeters <clears throat> then after that now we calculate area minimum so the minimum area is going to be 4 times pi times the minimum radius squared this is going to be 4 by 22 times 6.5 squared, then we divide by 7. This will be 501, 531, sorry, 0.14. Again, square centimeters. So now with minimum and maximum, <coughs> minimum and maximum area, we can move to calculating the working area, hmm? the actual area, eh? area actual. This one is calculated by 4 times pi times r squared. Now it was recorded as 7. So when we use this one, we'll have 22 times 4 multiplied by 7 because 1, 7 cancels with, one seven cancels with the, the 7 in pi. This gives us 616. So for us to get <coughs> what we call the absolute error, absolute error in the area absolute error this one is calculated by minimum subtracted from maximum then divided by 2 therefore when we get 707.14 and we subtract 531.14 then we divide those figures by 2 this is going to give us the absolute error in the calculation of this area 0.14 Minus six thirty five thirty one sorry five thirty one point one four then we divide by two this is going to give us eighty eight <clears throat> therefore the absolute error in the calculation of the surface area is eighty eight so for us now to get something else called a relative error the relative error is gotten by absolute error divided by the working area and the working is 16 616 and this one is going to give us a 0 0.1429 therefore for us to get the percentage error now we take the relative error and we multiply it by 100 so the error 
when multiplied by 100 will become 14.29. 14.29 percent so the percentage error is 14.29 that is how we get percentage error in the calculation of area thank you for following subscribe to this channel